Dwayne Moody reports. A Benke Viejo family tonight mourns the death of one of their loved ones following a fatal traffic accident on the George Price Highway. Eight-year-old Kayleen Mai perished at the San Ignacio Hospital less than an hour after the vehicle she was traveling in flipped several times between miles 68 and 69 on the Benke Viejo Road. Kayleen and her two siblings, ages 10 and 2, were flung from the vehicle to the pavement. Their mother, 31-year-old Evelyn Quillen, who was driving the vehicle at the time, was trapped behind the steering wheel. We were coming back from the 21st parade from Kyle to Benke, coming home. We were coming home. Um, the back wheel from the, from the driver's side started to give trouble. And um, the vehicle started to serve from side to side on the way. And I couldn't control it, so I lost control of it. And the vehicle flipped. And I noticed I see my three kids on the roadside, and I stayed trapped inside the vehicle. A taxi was behind coming towards Benke as well, and they were the first one to render assistance. One of them was broke the windshield from the vehicle so that I could come out. And by the time I come out, a lot of people were already on the scene. And they assisted me. One of my taxi driver um, offered himself to take me to the San Ignacio Hospital because I, I noticed that my daughter, Kaylin, passed out, the one that passed away. Um, she was in critical condition, and we rushed her to the hospital, and it was at the hospital that she died. My other two kids, they just suffered. Um, well, my son, he only suffered um, injuries to his head and both hands and leg, and the minor one, which is two years old, well, she, nothing never happened to him. I just suffered uh, injuries to my left hand. Mm, have a little pain on my back, lower back, and my neck and my left leg. But um, I guess I can take that pain. Police were called out shortly after to find an extensively damaged Mazda Tribute SUV on the left-hand side of the road. Well, San Ignacio police proceeded to the area where on arrival they saw a dark gray Mazda Tribute parked on the side of the road facing from a, a east, or that was traveling from a east to west direction. Information is that Miss Evelyn Mai was traveling to, towards Benke and in her company was three of her kids. Um, apparently, she lost control of the vehicle, causing the vehicle to flip. Um, and as a result, she and the kids sustained injuries who and were transported to the San Ignacio Tongue Hospital. Unfortunately, um, while on undergoing treatment, Kayleen Mai, her eight-year-old daughter, um, succumbed to injuries that she sustained. It's a harrowing ordeal for the now mother of two who mustered the strength to speak with us today despite initially taking blame for her daughter's demise. I was in a little, I was blaming myself at the beginning, but uh, then I, I know that it's an accident. But um, I'm just there one day, one day at a time. I have the other two which I have to take care of and be strong for them. Kaylin, she was a very fun, happy person. She always willing to assist, participate in school events and she was a very smart person, have always um, bring um, an average of from 90s up. She was very smart. While the life of Kayleen cannot be replaced, Deputy Officer Commanding San Ignacio Police, Assistant Superintendent Raymond Reyes, says that drivers must take heed when traversing the stretch of the highway. 
What we are asking the general public um, is for them to take their time. You know, we, we are approaching an area where um, there is a curve, a dangerous curve. Um, look at the weather condition, look at your speed, right? Because traveling on the highway, you have to be considerate not only for you as the driver, but for others driving, right? So speeding is something that maybe you have to take keen attention at and drive safe on that, on that especially on that portion, because we have seen that in less than a month, this is a sickle fatal accident in that, in that area. Quillen has since been served with a notice of intended prosecution. Dwayne Moody for News 5.